seid gesegnet. Wie geht es euch diesen Morgen? What's she doing? I don't know. I mean, she, she acted very weird. She, she sang a song and she was holding a cross. She's some religious like people. Well, she has gold. Which one? Right now. The religion class. <laughs> well, what religion class? What is that? Yeah, in school. You have religion class, right? No. no. Well, there are probably a lot of things we don't have in Taiwan that you guys have there. Yes, maybe. But we'll learn about it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> When I was back in the U.S., we had to do the thing called the Pledge of Allegiance before starting a class every day. The thing is like you say a lot of words, sentences about you contribute your loyalty to the United States of America in its constitution. And as far as it goes, it's not anything special or controversial. But I know that national identity is actually a pretty controversial topic in both Taiwan and Germany, right? Yeah. In Taiwan, um, both teachers are avoiding to um, teach students' identity because we have both Taiwanese identity and also the Chinese identity due to the hist history um, events. What about Germany? Yeah, for me this sounds kind of weird or scary. Mm -hmm. So um, in, in Germany, um, like patriotism or national actions are very rare. The school system in the U.S especially, I mean, particularly your school hours. We start from 8 in the morning and ends with 2.50 in the afternoon. And in contrast to the German and the Taiwanese counterpart, which we will get into later, I think that is a relatively short school hour. And I think the reason behind it is because of the ideology. The people in the United States value individualism. So I think maybe that they think it is better to give children more free time to do what they want and give them time to spend by their own will, by their desire, so that it would be better for their development in general. So um, students in Taiwan must be really jealous of German students and uh, students from the United States because starting from elementary school, students need to attend school assembly weekly. Um, it starts at 7.30 in the morning. Even though younger elementary school kids finish earlier at around noon, they are usually sent to crime schools, talent classes, or daycare centers to cope with their parents' long work hour. Taiwanese students, they are stressful to, uh, um, to dealing with a large amount of the assignments and the tests in the form of multiple choice questions. Yeah. Therefore, the students tend to answer um, the questions in the shared van rather than elaborated their thinking process. How about um, education assignment and evaluation system in general? And I think the difference is that we have rarely multiple choice questions. Um, most of the time we have um, in the beginning some knowledge questions um, and in the end we have so-called transfer questions where the students should apply their gained knowledge onto some abstract questions. What do you remember? What uh, about one special thing in the Taiwan school? Um, I think there is one course that's only provided in um, schools in Taiwan when I was in high school. Um, the female students are required to take a nursing course. Uh, male students are required to take a military training course um, where they learn to shoot guns and stuff like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. How about Germany? Well, the religion lessons are defined by the German constitution. Um, traditionally, it's Christian religion or ethics as an alternative, and nowadays the um, kids can also choose other uh, religions. Um, so students should learn about their own religion, their inherited social norms, and about other religions, and that they can reflect and discuss about it. As we're approaching the end of our conversation, I believe we all have some reflections to share after getting to know so many differences and nuances in different education systems. I think, as a Taiwanese, we really should consider leaning more towards the U.S. in terms of education. Because as it stands right now, we have too much burdens as students, too, much things to, too many things to study and too much tests to repair. And I think it eliminates a lot of other potentials you can be. Therefore, I think there should be more flexibility. Whether we want to reduct the academic part is debatable, but I think flexibility is absolutely a necessity. Sure. 
sure I am in this favor of multiple choice questions because I don't get to understand students' thinking process. Instead of pursuing the correct answer, it is essential to teach students to elaborate on their personal opinions and guide them to apply the knowledge to uh, real practice. So um, speaking of the nationality and identity, um, I think instead of avoiding um, to discuss in class, uh, we should have an open minded and then discuss that we should respect to each other's stance. That is better in education. I think instead of teaching too much facts, you should ask more questions in school. So that's why I want to ask to you or to the viewer um, the questions. What style of school education would you prefer or what would you wish to learn in school when you were young? Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Yeah, good day.